Ted Bundy Movie Summary in English Let's begin. In Seattle in 1974, law student Ted Bundy appears to be the typical friendly guy who lives next door, but inside this kind gentleman lies a monster. After watching women from his windows while masturbating, Ted builds up the courage to commit his first murder. From there, he always manages to lure a young woman to his car by faking a broken arm or an illness or by disguising himself as a police officer. Then he knocks her unconscious, ties her up, and drives her to an arranged location where he rapes and murders her. Driving his yellow VW Beetle, he leaves a bloody trail through the United States. The police are left in the dark, as no one suspects a model citizen and ambitious student like Ted. Eventually, in 1975, one of Ted's victims, Tina Gabler, escapes from him when she throws herself from his moving car. Based on her description of his car, Ted is stopped by a police officer and arrested. In his trunk, the police find pantyhose masks, a handsaw, a crowbar, knives, ropes, and handcuffs. Even though he is identified by Tina Gabler in a lineup, Ted denies ever having seen the woman. When he is visited by his girlfriend, Lee, in a Colorado prison, Ted admits to her that charges are being brought against him for multiple murders, but stresses the fact that there is no evidence, however, and that he will never be convicted. At this point, Lee realizes that Ted is guilty, and she breaks up with him. Ted asks to represent himself at his trial, and is granted access to the courthouse law library. He promptly escapes by jumping from an upper story window. He is jailed again after an attempted auto theft, but manages to escape yet again months later. Upon settling in Florida, Ted rents a room under an alias, steals a van, and continues his murder spree. This time he overpowers four women in their sorority house and brutally murders two of them. His bloodlust still unsatisfied, Ted rapes and murders a 12-year-old girl the next day. He becomes heavily intoxicated afterward and is recognized by a police officer and arrested after a short chase. Ted is convicted in court and sentenced to death. After making an unsuccessful plea for mercy to the governor, Ted makes a final statement before he is executed in the electric chair. The executioner is revealed to be a woman. As Lee watches news coverage of the execution with her husband, she wonders, 